welcome to Witness the Fitness 30 Day Challenge, Day 6. Today, we've got the shortest workout of all. It's called Power Beast. So what it is, is every minute on the minute, you'll have an exercise to do. You'll try to get the reps that I tell you to get, and then you will have rest. So if you get it before 40 seconds, You'll have extra rest time, but you will always be cut off at that 40 second mark just to ensure that you do get some rest time. So let's warm up. We're gonna start with frog jumps in three, two, one. So bend down and jump. You got two more. Okay, now you're gonna do a windmill lunge. So you're gonna lunge forward, pick it up, lunge back. Other side. Keeping our knees behind the toes. Last one. Now we're going to pulse backward twice and pulse forward twice. Here we go. Back, forward, forward. Back, back, forward, forward. Abs are nice and tight and engaged. We're gonna have some fun today. It's short and it's intense, but you get it done, get on with the rest of your day and rest. Our first minute, well, our first five minutes. We've got a five minute block, a five minute block, and a 10 minute block. Our first five minute block, every minute, you're going to do 16 backward lunges. So eight on each leg. You start in five seconds, three, two, one. Now, this is at your own pace. You do not have to follow me because it's making sure that you get your 16 reps in before that time runs out. And if you don't get it in that time, you have more chances and more opportunities to try and get your reps in. You've got 10 seconds to finish up whatever reps you have. You got it, keep going. And time, if you're not done yet, you're done now. You got 20 seconds of rest, then we'll do it again for round two. You got 10 seconds to breathe, maybe get a sip of water. So we're going again in four, three, Two, one, here we go. This is one of my favorite workouts. It gets you sweating just enough. And it's so quick and powerful that it goes by just like that. So number 16, that's eight on each leg. Your knee is always behind your toe. You're going straight back into that lunge, creating those two. 90 degree angles. You've got it five more seconds if you're not done already. Time, you got 20 seconds now before we go to round three. Nice, deep breath. Just because your legs are moving fast doesn't mean that your breath has to. We go again in four, three, Two, one, here we go. Back. If you want to just crank the music right now, listen to your favorite songs, it will get you through it. You're almost there. And if you're striving for a goal, if you're only putting in half the effort, only expect half the results. You got five more seconds. Time. Rest for 20. Then we have two more times of backward lunges before we move into our next round. You got seven, five, four, three, two. Here we go. 
Now this is a lot of reps in five minutes. It's a lot of volume, it's a lot of work. But you got it, you are capable of doing this workout. You can use those arms if you want to. Get a little bit of the running arms going. Got 10 seconds. And once you do your reps, you're done. You can have extra rest time. And time, one more round. This time I'll give you the full 60 seconds to complete those 16 reps. You got 10 seconds before we start the last round of backward lunges. Three, two, one, here we go. These 60 seconds are up to you. You can make the most of this workout and get all your reps in if you haven't already. And if you had, that's just 20 extra seconds that you can get a sip of water, take a breather, you know, but you got it. If you lose your footing, if you fall off balance, it's human. I just did. It's totally normal. Get 30 seconds. Keep pushing, I believe in you, you can do this. I know that there's some voice in your mind telling you that you've done enough, you can stop. No, ignore that voice. You can keep going, you have 10 seconds to complete it. Get all those reps in. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Awesome job. I'm so proud of you. Our next move is beast to push up. So you're in plank. You're going to go back, kind of like bear and child pose combined. Then spring forward and push up. This is what it looks like in fast motion. You have eight of each. So eight beast to push ups. This is also a five minute block. So we'll do our eight reps. Once you're done with your eight reps of beast to push up, you can rest and wait for everyone else. And then the last minute, we will go for it all. If you haven't met your reps yet, you got 10 seconds. So everyone in plank. I'm gonna turn this way. Here we go. Beast. The push -up. If you need to go on your knees, that's totally fine. And once you're done, bring it to your knees. Now this is a lot of push-ups in just a small amount of time. You'll be doing 40 push-ups in five minutes which is insane. Time. Get ready for round two. You got 10 seconds. Four, three, here we go, eight reps. A beast to push up. Now I understand that push ups may not be your thing, but just get as low as you can get. If it takes you the whole 40 seconds, it takes you the whole 40 seconds. Everyone works at a different pace, but it doesn't mean that you're not working as hard. You got five, four, three, two, time. Get ready for round three. And if it looks like I'm wearing the same outfit as the last two videos, I am. I had to film all at once. So I thought, why change my outfit? Perfectly fine the way it is. Okay, here we go. 
eight reps. So you only have to do a push up really every five seconds. Bring it down to your knees when you're done. You got 10. Three, two, one. Time. Get ready for round four. I'm gonna face this way for the last two rounds. Five, four, get it in plank. And here we go. You want to jam out to music? Do it. You can do anything for 40 seconds. And each time you might notice that you get faster and faster and faster. Because we will repeat this workout a bunch of times between now and day 30. So. You got five seconds to finish up this round. And time. This last minute of this block, you have the whole 60 seconds to complete it. So, you got this. You have five, four, get up and plank. Two, here we go. If you need to. Use this whole minute. I know your chest is on fire. And all you can think about is your biceps and your triceps and how they are burning and screaming. Well, it's gonna be over in just a couple seconds. You got this. After this, we have one more 10 minute round. And it'll fly by like that. Some of my favorite moves. You've got 22 seconds to complete it. You can do it. If you need to take a rest for just a second, take the rest, hop back in. You got it. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Awesome job. You are halfway through this workout. So. For this last round, it'll be two different moves that will alternate. First is a sludge hammer. So your hands are together and you're gonna row them behind you and bring them down in between your legs. And you've got eight on each side, so that's 16 total. Then the second move that we'll do for the other minute. So it'll be Slow hammers for a minute, and then this next move for the next minute. It'll be heel click. And you'll have 10. Okay. Got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it around. Down. If you need to make noise at the center, make the noise. You want to have, you know, a good rotation, pivoting those feet underneath you so you don't twist an ankle. You should definitely be feeling your core right now. And when you get to the 16, you can stop, take a drink. You've got 10 seconds to complete your 16 reps if you haven't already. Time, we're going into heel click. You've got 10 of them in 10 seconds to so take your nice deep breath. Four, three, two, one. You've got 10 heel clicks. You could squat down, 
That's how you're landing is in a squat. But you're clicking your heels. And once you're done, walk around, get a drink, take a breath. And you also have 40 seconds to complete this one too. So take your time. Got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. We're back to sludge hammers. So do you see how those two are one round? You do both the exercises and that counts for one round. And you've got five rounds of that. I felt like I was explaining too much in the beginning and you weren't gonna get it. But I think we're good now. Here we go. Sledgehammer. If you wanna clasp your fingers together, go ahead and do it. Just be careful. Really rotate through that core. Keep it nice and tight. Chest up. You got it. If you're doing it with a friend, encourage them. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, and time. We're going to heel click in 20 seconds. You got this. You are almost there. Yeah, five, four, three, two, heel click. Nice and soft, landing on the ground. We're not making a whole bunch of noise like a bunch of elephants. We're just landing softly. And if you have to stand up in between, that's okay. You do you. You got this. Your quads are gonna burn. It's part of the process. Learn to love that burn. Have an attitude of gratitude. And just be grateful that your body can do it. Okay. You got two seconds. Time. We're on to round three. Take your nice break. You get ten seconds. Say something nice if you're working out with a friend to the other one to encourage them and cheer them on. I know I was Jenna and I could have made videos this summer. Here we go. Somewhere together. But things happen. We're both very busy. And so we're working together to bring more content than we could have brought when we were apart. I mean, together. Oh my goodness. Just focus on your sledgehammer, so. So we're actually creating double the amount of content for you guys because we're doing it separately. You got five seconds to complete those sledgehammers. Two and time. We're on to round three with heel click. So I'm very excited that both of us are doing a 30 day challenge. I think that that's also beneficial to our channel because we have so many more videos that people can explore and look at and try out. Here we go, heel click. Try to jump super high. Like a rocket ship. Here are your shoes clicking together. You got 20 seconds, finish up. You got it. This is that middle round. You got two more rounds after this. You got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and time. We're back to switch hammers in 20 seconds. Grab a drink. I told you, short and powerful, but effective. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Punch hammers. 
I love this move. I learned it from a B5 super trainer. Her name is Megan Davies. She's awesome. And she did it in her first program. Well, not her, her first program of a combined series called Muscle Burns Fat. So if you ever get a chance, check her out. She's super cool. You got five seconds to complete those sledgehammers. Two, and time. Got heel clicks in 20 seconds. After this, you have one more round and then you're on with your day. You got nine, five, four, three, two, Let's go, heel clicks. You can do two at a time. Oh, I don't think I can. My legs are tired. So if you wanna try, see how many clicks you can get while you're in the air. Play a fun little game. You've got 10 seconds. You got it, keep going. If you're not done, you've got this. This last round, I'll give you 60 seconds for both minutes. Time, you have 60 seconds to finish your sledgehammers, then you'll have 60 seconds to finish your cue clicks. You got 10 seconds until that last round. Let's make it a good one. Last round, best round. Here we go, in three, two, one. Use power, but then slow it down when you're coming to the middle because you don't want to hurt your shoulders. Keep those arms straight. You got it. You got 30 seconds. If you haven't finished, you got it. You can do anything. Everything is possible in this world. Got 15 seconds. You can do it. 10 seconds until we go to heel clicks. Four, three, two, last 10 heel clicks. Try to really get up in the air. And when you're done, you can walk it around and get ready for our cool down. If you're not done, you've got this. Keep going. You've got 40 seconds. Use this 40 seconds to your advantage. You can do it. I believe in you. You should believe in yourself too because you can, okay? Got 20 seconds. If you need to, take that slight break and then jump right back in. Got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Okay, let's cool it down. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale it out. Take another deep breath in. And exhale it out. Bring those arms behind your chest. Pull down, open up all, all of your chest and your shoulders and all that. You guys did an awesome job. Pull one toe up to your glutes. Stretch out that quad, which is the muscle that runs down the front of your leg. Switch sides. Bring your arms above your head. Lean 
to your left. Really stretch out those obliques. And through the center. And other side. And to the top. One more big inhale up. And exhale out. Have a rest day tomorrow. You did so much great work this week, days one through six. Have a rest day before you kick it off again on day seven with the next Upper Body Beast. I'll see you then.